Alright, what's the deal, y'all? What's the deal? So look, there's gonna be some uh, new shit. I'm finna be on for the channel, and I'm uh, I'm gonna try to keep this interesting for y'all. But I ain't, I ain't really worried about that. If you listening, you listening. If you not, you not. But if you don't know me, man, what's the deal? My name O T T D I, regular music producer. No crazy shit like that, man. But we finna get straight into it. So, you know, I see a lot of people on TikTok using crystals and this new age shit. But truth is, they don't know what they're doing or know what they are using it for. They just think they witches, man. And that's what's, that's what's killing me. Everybody want to be a witch. Everybody want to be... You know, spiritual and or have magic and shit like that, man. First things first, I'm gonna say is that shit is not what it used to be at all. Okay, that shit not even what it used to be. That shit is not what it is at all. This is not magic. That is not no. All right. So origins. The Egyptians and the ancient Sumerians, right? They use these in rituals and they believe they would aid in the afterlife. Now, as far as the afterlife goes, I'm going to get that all in a different video, bro. But the Greeks believe that amethyst would aid with intoxication and hangover. And in ancient Greece, they used stones in place of their gods and they called these Betelia. Now, Plato, Plato, however you say that man, uh, mentioned that the people of Atlantis and Lemuria use them for telepathic arts, and they also use them for um, an energy source too, I believe. Smooth stones was worshipped by the um, Vaishnavas of northern India, and this whole, I guess, Hinduism in general, and a lot of Indian religions is where um crystal healing is prominently from now keep this in mind when i say um egyptians and ancient sumerians right because the sumerians came before the um indians and the um hinduism so they made, made a lot of this these magic practices that we have today now the betelia right these mean the house of God, and they are meteorites and fallen stars. Take note of this, right? House of God, fallen stars. Fallen stars from the house of God are fallen angels. You can say I'm reaching. I don't care. That's that's what that shit mean, bro. Right here. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth. And this is when he was, I believe, referring to war in heaven again. In Revelations, when Lucifer and his fallen angels, the dragon and a third of the stars, fell with him, right? Now, these Greeks worship these fallen angels. Early Greeks, ancient Sumerians, Egyptians, they all worship these. They believe they were enlightened beings, right? But we're going to get into all of the, you know, fallen gods. Where do these ideas come from? Into another video. And they, uh, I put the definition of the Betelia right there. They are sacred stones that were supposedly endowed with life or gave access to a deity. Endowed with life, right? People use stones today to, you know, give emotions. Or they expect them to be alive in a way, right? Funny. Also, I want y'all to take note of. Amethyst simply means not drunk, right? A lot of the reason these Greeks, they used, they were very loose, but spiritual, but like very loose. Because as you can see, this one means not drunk, but they had a whole stone dedicated to Aphrodite. Aphrodite. So I just want y'all to take note of that. Now, going back to the Egyptians, right? They believe these would aid in the afterlife and they um yeah use them in rituals and they believe these crystals also stored energy which also aid in the afterlife right that's how now stopping there right 
stored energy that would help you pass death. Listen to that. Just let that sink in. Now, as far as death goes, if you're a Christian, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. When you die, you go nowhere. No, no heaven, no hell, no purgatory, no afterlife, none of that. I know that may have broken a lot of people, but you, your body is simply resting, awaiting judgment. And believe it or not, Egyptians also believe in judgment and the weight of the heart, right? But not in the same way. I guess you could say we do. I'll get into that, though. Now, the Egyptians were very spiritually and magically inclined. And this is because of Hermes. I'm not going to say because of Hermes, but Hermes had a very big influence on this. Hermes Trismegistus, right? You're going to see him pop up in this video again, but I really want to do some research on him because he's really important when it comes to black magic. Atlantis, right? So, earlier, I mentioned that Atlantis, they use him for telepathic purposes, right? Atlantis was also a fallen city, which was heavily associated with black magic. And now, Manly P. Hall, he speaks of this in his magic a treatise on esoteric arts, which I'm going to show here, right? But he speaks on Atlantis in that book, and so does The Occult by Colin Wilson. Yeah, The Occult by Colin Wilson. I'm going to put a picture up that too. So let that be known. A lot of Atlantean arts were very dark, and that has obviously lead into today's and a lot of ancient religions, you could say. Atlanteans allegedly harnessed the energies of the pyramids using harmonics linked to crystals. Like we have the Great Pyramid at the center of the planet linked to the grid, right? So too did the Atlanteans. There's actually sank though to the bottom of the atlantic ocean interesting that the atlantic is named after atlantis right i just i don't think people really catch on and think like damn but whatever now as far as charging these crystals this is mainly for my uh christians right this is black magic and idolatry in fact, the whole the whole process of doing this is worshiping it because, you know, you give it these gifts. You give it salt, incense, myrrh, sage, right? You try to clean the bad spirits out the room, right? Whole time, you just let more in, but whatever, right? I'm not going to speak on that. Spirits don't care about smells, bro. <clears throat> they don't. They don't care about smells. No. This is scientifically impossible for crystals to store energy. Talking to my Christians, right? Or anybody who worships God. It's impossible scientifically. So where does this energy come from if God doesn't tolerate idol worship? People say, oh, the universe and the forces of nature. These are demons. Do you read? Here's the book. Magic, a treatise on esoteric ethics by Manly P. Hall. Y'all love this man. Isaiah 57, 6. Among the smooth stones of the valley is your portion. They, they are your lots. To them you have poured out a drink offering. You have brought a grain offering. Shall I relent for these things? And then verse 6 goes, Your gods are the smooth stones in the valleys. Smooth stones, right? I mentioned this back with the Vaishnavas in northern India, right? So there you have it. Oh, and here. This goes for all divination purposes. A black magician is one who seeks to gain authority over his spiritual powers by means of force than by merits. None of y'all are gifted to put spirits into rocks i promise you that especially not by god at least at greatest you're forcing these or you're trying to instead these spirits are playing with y'all emotions 
everything playing with your soul you don't even know it but whatever and to those who say oh these spirits are all good and whatever who who are these spirits give me a name for them in the comments if anybody sees this give me a name for any of these spirits and then why does god need you to do this if you have him we have prayer so why do we need to sit here and buy crystals and play with paper cards and shit to get his attention and then let it not be known god is a source of all power black magic is perversion which is what was seen with lucifer in heaven he had power at least to an extent perverted what he had and now here we are we have choice perverted it and got this choice is power animals don't have a choice they have forced instinct choice is very much powerful even when it comes to the choice of words we say very powerful people look over it but if you listen then you listen but this is the same with tarot cards crystal balls anything go to god jesus and the holy spirit and here's divination for those who are in denial the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means right examples of this are astrology horoscopes scrying tarot cards and ouija boards scrying uses crystals candles and black mirrors right the things people run to before they run into a real mirror by supernatural forces though keyword this goes back into that egyptian magic stuff it's linked to Egyptian mysticism. And they gave the credit cards credibility. Building on court de gate. Go Goblins. Egyptian connection. Italia claimed that the tarot cards originated with the legendary Book of Thoth. Which supposedly belonged to the Egyptian god of wisdom. Right. Now Thoth. Right. He is the Egyptian god of wisdom. Thoth comes from Hermes Trismegistus. Right. Which people say Hermes comes from Prometheus. And Prometheus comes from Satan. Lucifer. Okay. So Thoth. Comes from Hermes. Comes from Prometheus. Which comes from Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer. Prometheus gave man fire. Light. But the devil loves many forms. He came as Hermes, who came to the Egyptians as Thoth, who the Egyptians made the god of wisdom. That should be all I have to say, really. This is the same idea with the Greeks and a lot of their Greek gods. I mean, even Hermes was actually also came to the Greeks as Hermes. So, yeah. Now, besides for besides religion, right? You know, people say, "Oh, I don't, I don't believe in God or things like that." But still, do this. I want to ask you, right? How can these crystals fix a problem that you've had that came from inside of you? How can an outside source fix you, especially crystal? Let alone a spirit. What do you think these spirits are going to do? You don't know the name of these spirits, yet you're expecting these spirits to confide in you. You get what I'm saying? I mean, what are the reasons you do these crystals, right? To promote the flow of good energy and help rid your body and mind of negative energy for physical and emotional benefits. If you're a bad person on the inside, a negative person on the inside, if you radiate negative energy as is as a person, no matter how many crystals you buy and how many rituals you do, none of those will ever make you a more positive person. Never. Not truly. Even if it looks like it. Not truly. It'll never work like that. Because scientifically, this is impossible. Thus, it is either a spiritual or not real and if it's spiritual means you're messing with unknown spirits spirits you don't know 
It's the truth, man. Even when it comes to Reiki, I mean, it's all it's all in your head, man. Self improvement and anything like that starts from the inside. You either reach inside yourself or outside of yourself. So, you know, I want y'all to know if you don't believe in spirits and stuff, then this is all in your head. If you do believe in the spiritual world, this is an offense to God. And if you don't believe in God, you're talking to who are you talking to? Because the Greeks have a million unknown gods. So who, who are you talking to? But, you know, I also want to ask, what makes you think you need crystals to obtain whatever it may be? What makes you think you need crystals to do it? Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 11. There shall not be found among you any that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer, pyromancer, mancy, any any of that, or a consulter with familiar spirits. If it wasn't given by merit, it's black magic. Solomon was by merit. Everyone else under him followed by black magic because I wanted these things for personal gain, personal purposes. If it doesn't push heaven, then it pushes earth. If it pushes earth, it pushes destruction. If it pushes self, it pushes destruction. That's black magic, motives of self. They're all bad. Even if they start off good, they're all bad because by nature, we are all sinful. So I want y'all to watch what y'all, what y'all, you know, what y'all mess with, man. You feel me? Some of this shit. Hey, we're gonna go there but uh you feel me let me know if y'all got any questions man i'll be glad to do another one of these videos something like this but y'all let me know how that shit is man y'all let me know how it go y'all be smooth i love y'all